Hello and welcome back to Ganesha's YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about Euler's method. It is also known as Runge-Kutta method of first order, right? So in this, we will be seeing that how we can find out the value of particular function, like value of y for particular x, when there are so many approximations there when boundary condition is there and what is the formula when Euler's method is concerned. So let's see with the help of an example. So here you can see that dy by dx is given to you and the boundary condition that means the you can say initial value uh, theorem or the points which are given at x0 y is 1. You need to find out what will be the value of y when x is 0.1? So first of all, let's say question has asked you that you need to solve it by Euler's method only. Okay. Now if method is not given to you, then it's your choice what uh, type of uh, method you are choosing for numerical analysis. But if specifically question is asking for a particular method, then you need to use that only. Now, when it comes to Euler's method, also called as Runge Kutta method of first order to solve any ordinary equation, just like this. This is an ordinary equation, differential equation. Then the formula is yn plus 1 is equals to yn plus hf xn yn. Now, you might be wondering that what is h? Rest is understandable, but what is h? So basically h is called as step size that means let's say if you have to find out the values of uh, y for x is equals to 2 3 4 so if it is starting for from 1 2 3 4 5 then the difference the regular difference is step size you can see that the one one is the difference between every step every step so you can see so here if x is equal to 0.1, so that means you need to make the difference as 0.1 only. But the value which you need to find out is 0.1. But the you know how many values need to be there, it is not given to you. So what you can do, you can assume the more the values you will take, the more approximate value, the more accurate value you will get. So that means if I assume, see. I need to find out in this value format, I need to have somewhere 0.1. Then only I can find value of x. Now you can distribute this in the intervals, how many intervals you want. Let's say we want 5 intervals. So that means it will be 0 0.02. So if you are assuming h as 0 0.02 and your initial value is given to you as 0, so x naught. Here you have got value of x and here you have got values of y. So if your x0 is 0, so what should be your x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5? Because you are taking 5 intervals. So they are 0 plus step size. That means 0 0.02. Again this plus step size. So that will be 0 0.04. 0 0.04 plus step size. So 0 0.06, 0 0.08 and this will be 0 0.1. Correct. So that means one of your value. You have to find out the value for y for this. That means you need to find out value of y5. Correct. So in order to find out y5, you need to find out n as 4. For 4, you need to find out value of y3. So that means you need y0, y1, y2, y3, y4 and y5 correct so now what is your y0 it is already given when x is 0 your y is 1 correct now rest of the values you need to find out using this so if you need y as 1 you need to put n as 0 so if you are putting n as 0 your y1 will be y0 plus h which is already you have taken 0.02 Multiply f x n y n that means f x naught y naught because you know you are putting n as 0. Correct. So y1 will be 
let's erase it so what is your um, y1 here if you see bear with me so your y0 is 1 plus 0 0.02 your fx0 y0 is your fxy this is your equation ordinary differential equation so this is in the form of fxy so you'll you have x plus y if you are having x plus x comma y so this will be x naught plus y naught correct so y1 is 1 plus 0 0.02 x naught is 0 y naught is 1 so 1.02 correct right now if you have to find out value of y2 you can keep moving like this only so y2 will be now for y2 what you need to put as n here if you put n as 1 then only 1 plus 1 will be 2 n1 so that will make it as y1 plus h you have already got fx1 comma y1 correct now y2 will be y1 is 1.02 plus 0 0.02 multiply x1 y1 will make it as x1 plus y1 correct so your x1 is what 0 0.02 plus y1 is 1.02 right so your y2 has become if you sub if you put all these values you will get y2 as 1.0408 using calculator so firstly you need to solve this and then multiply it with 0 0.02 and then add it into this form clear now if you have to find out the value of y3 then for y3 you need to put n as 2 because if you put n as 2 that will make it y3 so you have got this as 1.0408 now it's up to you you can take uh, up to four decimal places if you want all these values so now y3 will be so here you will put n as 2 so y2 plus h which is 0 0.02 f x your n is what 2 y2 correct so that means y3 will become y2 is 1.0 408 plus 0 0.02 this will be x2 plus y2 because of this fx y x plus y so fx2 y2 is x2 y plus y2 so x2 is here 0 0.04 plus y2 is here 1.0408 if you solve it you will get 1.062416 you can leave it up to four decimal places also 1.0624 then you need to find out the value of y4 so for y4 you need to put n as 3 correct so if you need to find out y4 you need to put n as 3 that will make it as y3 plus h which is 0 0.02 f x comma y3 as per Euler's formula correct so y3 is this value 1.06416 plus 0 0.02 and this will form x4 x3 plus y3 so x3 is 0 0.06 plus y3 is 1.06416 if you solve this you will get your y4 as 1.0848643 again i'm telling you you can leave it up to 4 only and uh, for another value you can take base as this only okay so that it will ease your calculation now for y5 which will be our answer right so for y5 n needs to be substituted as 4 correct so if you put n as Four, your y5 will be y4 according to this formula y4 plus h which is 0 0.02 f x4 y4 correct and f x4 y4 means x4 
plus y4, right? So x4 is this plus y4 is this. So if you add them up, all the values of these things, you will get your answer as 1.1081661. So in this way, you can use Euler's method or Ramikuta first order method so that you can find out the value for any interval and that will be approximate now to get the you know more accurate more precise value you can take if the intervals are not given to you at least five intervals so because the more the interval you will get more accurate value more closer to the exact value okay so if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe please keep commenting what are you liking and what questions you are having which you can ask and we can solve you solve them for you okay so thank you so much till my next video take care of yourself bye bye